What is happening guys, Chris here and welcome to another episode of That Tattoo Show. And today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at... Ooh, yes, this, the EXO from FK Irons. Okay, so welcome back to the channel and if you are new, Please subscribe, hit the notification buttons and like and do all that stuff because it actually does help us be able to bring content to you. Now, before I go further with the review type video that I'm going to be doing, I want to just be very upfront as I always am. This is not a sponsored video, but I was given one of the machines for free and I actually bought the other one and they gave me a discount. First of all, we're going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing so, so you can have a look at what is what is there. So yeah, let's have a look at that. Now, looking at the box, they've gone with a nice green colour, and I actually like what they've put on there, basically, uh, FK Ing Unstoppable. I think you know what they're trying to say. Now, on the front, it says RCA on wireless, and when you open it up, you've got you know, the usual stuff on the inside, the code for your, uh, to scan for the user manual. Then you've got what would be where the batteries are, but the batteries are not there. So... You've got these pretend batteries. And then you've got the machine. Uh, this is what you're all looking for, what you're waiting for. So we'll lift that out. This is the Black Ops version and it is a 3.2 millimeter stroke. I actually like the look of this. And I've also got the base stealth version. So one basically one's glossy, one's got more of a matte feel to it. Both look very, very nice and are both quite comfortable to use. So we're going to take a look at the RCA module. Now the RCA module, it fits on the back of the machine by there. Unclicks and there we go. So it's got the same connectors as the batteries and you just pop it on. So we just looked at the machine. I really like the Black Ops version over the Stealth one. I just like that matte black look. Although it doesn't really matter once you wrap it because you're not really going to see it. But yeah, I like it. Now there's a few things about this which I did mention in my other video. If you haven't seen it, it's basically called Everything You Need to Know About the Exo. It was kind of like a few ideas on what could it could be like and what it would feel like. Um, one thing... I like the grip, I like a thicker grip, it feels comfortable in the hand and it adds, I think maybe a little bit more weight to the machine, I will double check that for you in a minute and uh, I'll put it up somewhere by here to see if the, it, it does actually add more weight, but for me it's a lot more comfortable than the flux grip, you've got like the notches which just feel nice in the hand, it is cross compatible so if you own a flux you don't need to buy the EXO with the power bolts and everything, you just need to buy the base option, I used it with the RCA module the other day, and I really liked it. I'm not a fan of using cables anymore since they've gone wireless, but it works. So if you are somebody that wants to try the Flux, or you want to try one of these machines, and you don't want to go wireless, just get this and it will work for you. For black and gray, the 2.5 is extremely efficient. It's really, really good. Like the last time I used a machine that I thought was really nice for black and gray was the Cheyenne Spirit. And I always thought it would be really nice to have like a pen version. I never really found one that I was comfortable using until I used this. Well, not this, but this one, because this is the 2.5. Now, one thing you're probably wondering, is there a way of identifying which one is a 2.5 and which one is a 3.2 and a 4.0. Once you take them off, they all look the same. So how do you know which one's which? I'm confused already. The way you know which one's which is on the inside of the machine, there is a sticker that identifies whether or not it is a 3.2, a 2.5 or a 4.0. Price-wise, we're gonna be looking at about 814 pound plus shipping. Uh, and that is just for the machine and the RCA module. If you are already an owner of the Flux and you don't really need to buy the power bolt option, just buy the RCA module, it's cross compatible and happy days, it'll work. So you can save yourself a couple of quid and then obviously if you need to buy new batteries later down the line, you can. So you're probably wondering which machine is for you. Now, if you're already a Flux owner, I'd say go for a 2.5. Like that is legit fucking good for black and gray. It's really good for black and gray. I said it in the last video, I think a 2.5 millimeter stroke makes you a lot more efficient in black and gray and if we've discussed this topic on the channel and somebody in the past has turned around and kind of gone oh but you know a lot of the the pro tattooists or whatever and whatever a fucking pro tattooist is but a lot of other tattooists out there they can get nice shading with a four millimeter stroke and I'm not denying that I can get nice smooth black and gray with a four millimeter stroke but what I'm saying is I'm far more efficient 
are getting smooth black and grey with a 2.5 and it causes less trauma to the skin a lot less trauma to the skin. I think maybe me and Paul might go in and do an in-depth video about like the whole difference between the stroke lengths and how one is better than the other for certain jobs. But yeah, you know, 2.5 is banging, I gotta say. Pros and cons of these machines. Now the pros are, you've got the RCA module and you've got three different stroke lengths. Other pros are they are cross compatible. So if you own a flux, you can, you know, switch and swap the, RCA modules over your flux and everything. The cons of these machines are, yes, they do have stickers on the insides to let you know what your kind of stroke length is. I'm just really picky and I would have liked to have seen something on the outside maybe engraved that says like 2.5, 3.2 .2 or 4.0. And that's me being really, really fucking anal, right? Um, the other con for this, and I don't know if this is a con, this is just me kind of look saying to you, look guys, just be aware of this, and it does loosen up over time. Now, with this one, which is the Black Ops, it's nice and, it's quite snug, It's but, it, you know, it's quite snug. It fits tidy, happy days. But what I found is with the gloss one, it's very tight, and I don't know if that's because, I don't know if it's got like a, paint on it or something like no if it's the coating that's on it it's made it quite tight so you know it comes off tidy when you've got gloves on because you've got an added grip but if you haven't got your gloves on you might open it up and think oh i can't fucking undo it but yeah it is a bit snug but after a while after using it for a while it does make it a lot you know it's not as tight but do you know what i would rather have it tight and not kind of undo and fall off than have it loose so there we go um not many pros and cons really and that's me fucking really trying to find something like again really good machines and uh yeah i anyway, know this is again this is not as hard as my other review because i feel like i don't want to say anything too nice about this because you might rip into me and be like oh my god chris you fanboy and fucking woo. but no like they're really good they're good machines i like them uh i like them so much right that i am going to put my money where my mouth is and I'm going to do a giveaway so I'm going to speak to Paul and I'm going to see what kind of what she, what she what we should do but we're going to give away an EXO and I think we're going to do a 2.5 just because I think black and grey is fucking amazing for black and grey so maybe a 2.5 EXO giveaway we'll have a think about it but yeah I don't know like it's a good machine if you've got any questions about this drop them in the comments below and I, I'll answer them and I'll do another video, but you know, I, I don't say. Well done FK Irons, you've made a fucking good machine. Happy days. That's me done. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. This short, brief review. I'm gonna take the machine up to Paul so we can have a look at it and we're gonna sit down and actually have a nice chat about it and uh, yeah, let you know what we think. And uh, there we go. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you have, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the notification buttons and all that stuff to keep up to date with everything that we do. And uh, I'll see you in another video. There we go. Bye.